In this simulation, you will see how Fidelity data are collected by a middle school teacher implementing PALS 2 through 6. Note that the observer has completed all the information at the top of the form, with the exception of stop time. Although the observer will record items as they occur, for demonstration purposes, we will stop at the end of each activity and discuss the teacher's implementation. Okay, everybody, it's time for PALS. So go ahead, uh, second reader's got to switch. Go ahead and switch now. Do that now. All right, we got to make sure we get started. So, you know, you need to move your pallet seats pretty quickly and everything. Questions? First reader's stay in their seats. Yes, first reader's stay in your seats. You know, we always do it that way, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, so it's just like we usually do, okay? It's a very nice bracelet. Okay, quickly to your seats. All right. Okay, it's time for PALS, everybody. So, all right, so first readers, I need to give you your folders, pair A. There you are, thank you. Pair B, wait, where's pair B's folder? Um, okay, pair B, sorry. Wait, who's pair, oh, you pair B. Pair B, um, okay. You can get out your stuff, don't forget to do that too. Pair E. Where's pair G? Where's your folder? I'll give you guys yours now. Oh, thank you. Wait, your pair E? E. There you go. Sorry. Um, pair G and you guys are F, right? Okay, cool. The teacher has just finished the introduction. This section consists of three items and should be completed in two minutes or less. The teacher introduced the PAL session, so the observer puts a check mark by the first item. However, the teacher did not have a system in place for the students to transition to pairs quickly and quietly, nor did they have an organized system for the students to access materials. Because of this, the observer will not put checks next to the other two items under introduction. All right, go ahead and get out your stuff. We're going to start with partner reading, like always. All right, and wait for you guys to get ready. Don't forget to have, oh, you guys have, to have your books out. Don't forget that, too. Those are in your, you know, we usually keep those in your desks. Okay. All right, you've got five minutes for partner reading. Okay, and go. Okay, stop, switch jobs. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, go to the bathroom. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I'll be his partner for a little bit while you guys are in the right restroom. All right, and go. All right. You're a second reader? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay, stop. For the partner reading activity, the teacher should adhere to four items. He is diligent about setting his timer and implements the activity for 10 minutes, making sure to instruct his students to switch jobs after five minutes. For this reason, he will get checks for items four and six. However, because he fails to follow the script and monitor his students, he does not get checks for items five and seven. You guys switch jobs. Okay, great work. So now we're going to paragraph shrinking. The teacher instructs the students to switch to the paragraph shrinking activity. In fact, however, he should have asked them to engage in the retail activity. Because he skips this activity altogether, 
Items 8 through 10 do not receive check marks. So go ahead and switch materials again. And we're going to start paragraph shrinking in just a second. Don't forget to um, start with uh, the first reader. Make sure you have all the first readers, make sure you have your book. Second readers, make sure you're going to ask the questions. Ready? Go. Yeah, don't forget, you got to make sure you read this section first and then do it. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, so here's my name is Jonathan, to the voice. We have been listening to your talk about going out. Jonathan asked Nicodemus if he could go outside too. Is that 10 words? Was that right, do you think? Jonathan asked Nicodemus if he could go outside too. So that was less than 10. Okay. All right, don't forget to give her three points. Keep on going. Keep on going. You're doing great. Okay, what's next? Bandit fell as if she had been summoned by an irate angel. This time the punishment. And where's the book supposed to be? In the middle. Okay. Yeah. Name the most important who or what? Nine. Tell the most important thing about the who or what? She could go. Say the main idea in ten words or less. Melody. Yeah. Is that right? Is that the most important thing in that paragraph? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then she gets three points. Don't forget to mark them. Okay, stop, switch jobs, get ready to start again. All right, and go ahead. Where did you guys have all, where was all this stuff? This is just junk. I'll put this away. How come you have my sticky notes anyway? All right, now, we got, lost your place in the book too? You got it back? Okay. Or who's who's reading? You're reading. Oh, and you're thinking. Got it. Okay. Remember, you can have the book open, and you can be looking back as you're doing it. Okay? Keep on working hard. Okay. Stop. We didn't switch jobs yet, did we? No, we did. Did we? We already switched. I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah, we switched. Okay, so is it time for a prediction relay? For the paragraph shrinking activity, the teacher should adhere to four items. Again, he is diligent about setting his timer and implements the activity for 10 minutes, making sure to instruct his students to switch jobs after five minutes. For this reason, he will get checks for items 11 and 13. He also walks around the classroom to monitor his students, so he receives a check for item 14. However, because he fails to follow the script, he does not receive a check for item 12. Okay, time for prediction relay, so go ahead and switch, job, uh, switch jobs and get ready for prediction relay, okay? You have five minutes. Okay, that's fine. I can be Tyra's partner. All right, ready? Oh, you got it? Okay. Ready and go. Five minutes. Okay. Is she the first reader? Okay. Where are you guys? Okay, stop. Switch jobs. It's our last one, everybody. So let's make it good here. All right. And begin. Okay, so did you make a prediction? Or no, you're the second reader. Did you make a prediction? Um, I think it's not yet. Not yet, okay. Did you ask her what her prediction was? I forgot to tell you guys that. I'm sorry. Make sure you make a prediction first. So what do you predict will happen next? Um, we can see her 
I think that maybe the mom will write a letter to the girls and um, she'll like that she's gonna get to come home. Okay, does that seem like a good prediction to you? Okay, good. Okay, so what do you say next? Girls, you can cooperate. Let's keep working together. Did you make a prediction? She's about to rehab page. Okay. Oh, that's time. Okay. For the prediction relay activity, the teacher should adhere to four items. Again, he implements the activity for 10 minutes, making sure to instruct his students to switch jobs after five minutes. For this reason, he will get checks for items 15 and 17. He also receives a check for item 18 because he monitors his students. However, he once more fails to follow the script and therefore does not receive a check for item 16. All right, so go ahead and put your folders, uh, everything back in your folders and put your uh, books back in your desk and I'll take your folders. And thank you. Thank you. I'm going to come around this way. Can I have your folder, please? All right, so today everyone did a pretty good job. I think some pairs weren't cooperating the best, but that's okay. We're going kind of fast today since we have uh, we have to get to lunch. That's great. All right, so everyone, good job today. Thanks so much, and uh, we will do more good work with pals tomorrow. As he completes the wrap-up, the teacher instructs his students to place their materials inside their folders, which he then collects quickly and efficiently. He completes this item in under two minutes and receives a check. In terms of the quality items, the first one, how well did the teacher implement the PALS instruction activities? The teacher should be rated one, not well. The reason for this is because, first of all, the teacher did not implement all of the instructional activities. Omitting an entire activity, as the teacher did with retail, was a serious error. In a program like PALS that is research-based, it's important to complete all the activities and not eliminate any of them. In addition, the teacher did not follow the script. Not following the script caused the teacher to eliminate important instructions for the students. It also led to a chaotic transition that resulted in students not being on task and as focused as they could have been. In terms of the second item, how well did the teacher monitor students? The teacher should probably be rated average. Although the teacher did not monitor during partner reading or during retail, he did monitor the students for the last two activities, paragraph shrinking and prediction relay. Particularly in the case of prediction relay, the teacher made an attempt to help the students improve their implementation. Some of the student difficulties were caused by the teacher not introducing the activity, but the teacher made a good faith effort to try and help the students. And for that reason, the teacher should be rated average for monitoring.